Hi dear students my name is mubarak i am your english teacher i hope that all of you are fine at home in this lockdown days i also hope that you can come back to our school very soon for the time being we have to continue our learning process so in our course book in the very first unit tells us about nature we all enjoy nature isn't it yes we all enjoy nature in this unit contains two short stories and one poem and these two short stories are brilliant in work and very charming and beautiful and the poem the greatest ever poet william wordsworth's poem lines are written in early spring all these things conveys the message is that the beauty of nature and the importance of nature and the our duty to preserve the nature for a better living so in the very first chapter adventures in a banyan tree written by ruskin bond who is actually a british descent but born and brought up in missouri uttarakhand in india in the valleys of himalaya you know that the valleys of himalaya definitely it is a place of beauty natural beauty and when we discuss the beauty of nature it doesn't mean to enjoy nature we have to go to forests nature means our surroundings just go outside of your house and enjoy whatever you see outside the world you can see so many trees are there you can see uh, a lot of animals birds so so many things are there so this unit tells us to enjoy the beauty of nature so dear students first of all let us look the first chapter adventures in a banyan tree written by ruskin bond actually in this story mr ruskin bond recollects his memory of childhood in the very first paragraph he describes his grandfather and grandmother and a huge magnificent banyan tree he tells us that the house and its surroundings is the domain of his grandfather but the banyan tree was his domain the child's domain why because at the age of 65 this grandfather could not climb the tree but this kid this boy can climb the tree so obviously this banyan tree is a uh, domain of our hero the child and uh, he also tells in this paragraph 
that the grandmother used to tease her husband saying that a countess of desmond she lived at the age of 117 died because she tried to climb an apple tree so she used to make fun of her husband that don't try to climb in the banyan tree okay and uh, when we discuss the second paragraph this child make an acquaintance with a young squirrel he pictures the beautiful characteristics of squirrel in this paragraph so let us read these two paragraphs then we can describe though the house and grounds of our home in india were grandfather's domain the magnificent old banyan tree was mine chiefly because grandfather at the age of 65 could no longer climb it grandmother used to tease him about this and would speak of a certain countess of desmond an english woman who lived to the age of 117 and would have lived longer if she hadn't fallen while climbing an apple tree the spreading branches of the banyan tree which curved to the ground and took root again forming a maze of arches gave me endless pleasure the tree was older than the house older than grandfather as old as the town of dera nestling in a valley at the foot of the himalayas so in this paragraph he used to describe that the house and grounds of his home in india were grandfather's domain but the magnificent banyan tree was him his this magnificent banyan tree was mine mine means this voice okay chiefly because grandfather at the age of 65 could no longer climb it and grandmother also used to tease her uh, tease him that a certain countess of desmond an english woman who lived to the age of 117 and would have lived longer if she hadn't fallen while climbing an apple tree the spreading branches of the banyan tree which curved to the ground and took root again forming a maze of arches here he describes and pictures the banyan tree the spreading branches of the banyan tree which curved to the ground and took root again you know you might have seen this banyan tree okay you know that it's a, a branches going like arches and again it makes roots it, it the shape will be like an arch so forming a maze of arches maze of arches means bending arches older than gave me endless pleasure it gave me endless pleasure the tree was older than the house the tree was older than my house older than my grandfather and uh, as old as the town of dera nestling in a valley at the foot of himalayas where it situated it situated uh, at the foot of himalaya so 
it will be a nice picture it will be like a beautiful scenery isn't it yes so let us look in the second paragraph my first friend and familiar was a small gray squirrel arching his back and sniffing into the air he seemed at first to resent my invasion of his privacy but when he found that i did not arm myself with a catapult or air gun he became friendlier and when i started leaving him pieces of cake and biscuit he grew bolder and finally became familiar enough to take food from my hands yeah in this paragraph he described his acquaintance with a young squirrel he made a friendship with that squirrel uh, firstly the squirrel was afraid of him like my first friend and family was a small gray squirrel arching his back and sniffing into the air arching his back and sniffing into the air he seemed at first to resent my invasion of his privacy he seemed to a uh, resent what resent ah uh, it doesn't like to invade to his privacy yeah but when he found that i did not arm myself with a catapult or air gun i don't have anything which harm that being so it became friendlier and when i started leaving him pieces of cake and biscuit when i used to give cake and biscuit he grew bolder and finally became familiar enough to take food from my hands it means ah it made so familiar that he came to him and uh, grab food from his hands before long he was delving into my pockets and helping himself to whatever he could find he was a very young squirrel and his friends and relatives probably thought him had strong and foolish for trusting a human here the boy describes that this squirrel before long he was delving into my pockets what's the meaning of delving delving means searching searching in his pockets and helping himself to whatever he could find delving in his pocket and helping himself to whatever he could find he was very young squirrel very young squirrel and his friends and relatives probably thought him had strong and foolish for trusting a human his relative and friends would thought that he is so foolish to make friendship with human being because most of the people are harming them attacking them and in the next paragraph we can see that this child describes the banyan tree in the spring season what is happening in the spring season in this banyan tree let us look in the spring when the banyan tree was full of small red figs birds of all kinds would flock into its branches the red bottom bulbul cheerful and greedy gossiping rosy pastures and parrots and crows squabbling with each other all the time during the fig season the banyan tree was the noisiest place on the road dear students in this passage this boy described the banyan tree in the spring season what is happening in the spring season in the spring season when the banyan tree was full of small red figs 
small red fix ripe and small red fi uh, fix so birds of all kinds would flock into its branches all kinds of birds flock into its branches he describes that what kind of birds are there ha huh. the red bottom bulbul bulbul bird is there then cheerful and greedy it is cheerful and greedy you know cheerful and greedy yeah happy or pleasing cheerful and greedy greedy for food and uh, gossiping rosy pastures another kind of bird rosy pastures and parrots and crows so so many birds would be there in the branches of the banyan tree and this squabbling with each other what is squabbling shouting quarreling right all of these birds squabbling squabbling with with each other and during the fig season the banyan tree was the noisiest place on the road okay so in this passage he conveys or he portrays the beautiful picture of that banyan tree in the spring season how many birds came into its branches and makes uh, so much noise okay beautifully pictureized with the uh, banyan tree with the birds so dear students let us look the next paragraph half way up the tree i had built a small platform on which i would often spend the afternoons when it was not too hot i could read there propping myself up against the ball of the tree with cushions taken from the drawing room treasure island huckleberry finn the mowgli stories and the novels of edgar rice burrows and louisa may alcott made up my bag of very mixed reading in this passage this boy described that how he made a platform halfway of that banyan tree and how he enjoyed the beautiful things around that or beneath that tree so halfway up the tree i had built a small platform on which i would often spend the afternoons when it wasn't too hot in that in that season when there was not too hot in the afternoons he used to spend his leisure time in that in that platform where he made <laughs> by using cushions took from his drawing room and he used to read so many books what are the books he read he reads treasure island huckleberry finn the mowgli stories and the novels of edgar rice burrows and louisa may alcott made up my bag of very mixed reading so all these kind of kinds of stories he used to read when he sat on that tree so for today i would like to conclude this and uh, i hope that you got the idea of this story so we have to thoroughly have to read once or twice then you have to take down the word meanings okay thank you